Hi, everybody. Well, we did it. We set a record high today. Um, you know, the forecast for this heat wave was very consistent going back to, I don't know, Wednesday of last week. Never really fudged the numbers that much, and they all came true pretty well. Uh, remember, on July 4th, we missed that record of 97 degrees by one degree. I'd forecasted 97, and we hit 96. Then we said today, by a degree or two, would likely be the hottest of the bunch, and the record of 96 in Portland would likely fall. Well, you're looking at the graphic that shows Portland hit 98 degrees today, which was my forecast, and that turned out to break that record back in 2015. It was 96 degrees. And like yesterday, the temperatures are really uniform. Pretty much everybody was within a degree or two uh, of the same number here in the Valley. Troutdale also 98, Vancouver 96, Hillsboro 97, Hood River 97. The Dalles we thought would hit 100, and yes, 101 degrees. Over at the coast where Astoria was in the low 80s yesterday, 79. I apologize that Salem is not on the list, but the um, weather station down in Salem failed earlier today and was not reporting. So don't know. We're going to assume you were somewhere between 96 and 98 or at most 99 degrees uh, down at McNary Field. The image, by the way, you're looking at is uh, Domain Serene Winery. That was a couple hours ago down in the Duddy Hills. And I, I thought yesterday, or excuse me, today, the wildfire smoke turned out to thin somewhat and disperse compared to yesterday. You can certainly see some haze there. Um, and I'm going to get to air quality in just a moment because that was or is part of today's story. Here's the Cameron Cathedral Ridge Winery. This is the one that's closest looking north across the Columbia and you would be seeing quite a bit of smoke at times the last couple of days from that Tunnel 5 fire in Skamania County. Now today, the smoke laying down and then widely dispersing aloft. So again, not that bad. Hazy, yes. Uh, to the right, here's probably the biggest headline today, minus what the actual air temperatures turned out to be. I just checked right now, the National Weather Service has all of their advisories and warnings set to expire around 11 p.m. tonight. The timing differs somewhat depending on exactly your location, but generally it's later this evening. So the heat advisory right now will be allowed to expire later this evening as well the red flag warning. Now, especially the red flag warning, I wouldn't be shocked if they bring that back tomorrow, but here's the deal. West winds are going to be increasing in the coming days here in the valley. That actually helps lower um, fire danger because it raises relative humidity. And real quick, um, I hate this, but I've got to wipe my nose. <laughs> Pardon me. I just got inside. I was out hitting golf balls today, and uh, I don't know if you noticed it, but the dew points were much lower what the modeling was showing. I mean, the modeling was showing the dew point today on this Wednesday to be around 50, and at 3 p.m., the dew point was actually 42, and when the temperature was 97 at that point, the relative humidity was um, 16%. Once you get down to the teens, you're almost like desert dry. So uh, if you're like me and you, you hate humidity, but you don't overly mind heat, then today wasn't that bad. Anyway, you're probably not like me. and You thought it was crazy too hot. That's okay. <laughs> All right, uh, let's move to this map. One of the bad news stories of today. Not a horrible story. Uh, air quality, this was grabbed about an hour ago. The yellow dots from DEQ, Department of Environmental Quality, are moderate readings. And there you see the actual numbers in the 50s and 60s and 80s. The green dots, 25, 30, 40, uh, are, gr are good air quality. So air quality deteriorated somewhat, and that is mostly from wild, car wild um, fire smoke. Now, overnight and early this morning, the wind pattern was light and variable enough that we probably got some of that Tunnel 5 uh, smoke coming in from Skamania County in the gorge. But most of the haze we've had is believed to have drifted down from the north out of Canada, by the way. Uh, we had a couple of unhealthy spots earlier this morning showing up, but this afternoon the air quality seemed to improve. Again, moderate to good. And I think we're going to continue to see improvement tomorrow, and I think by the time we get to Friday, the air quality will just simply be good up and down the valley and anywhere away from the immediate zone of the wildfire is still burning out there uh, near Underwood and uh, White Salmon. So why? Because the winds from the west are going to start picking up. So on the left side of this graphic, this is courtesy of KGWTV, their future cast surface wind forecast. This is today at 7 p.m. Notice all the arrows, Tillamook, Hillsboro, Carson, the Dalles out in the gorge, all the arrows are basically coming in from somewhat of a westerly direction, southwest, west, or northwest, okay? That alone is helping disperse the smoke that we've had today. 
Now notice the speeds in Portland, 22 miles per hour, Salem, a peak gust of 20 in the seven o'clock hour, potentially the Dow's about the same at 23, kind of where the winds have been. Now go to tomorrow. On tomorrow's map on the right, 6 p.m., still predominantly a west flow of some direction, right? Tillamook 13, Hillsboro 17, Portland 18. But then you get stronger winds out in the gorge, the Dow's all the way up to 29, maybe 30 miles per hour. And notice the, if you look at, if you go back to the left and see the yellow colors from Madras up into Moppin and the Dow's, and then you come back to the right, you see more yellow, and you see more red mixing in. That's an increase of 30 to 40 mile per hour potential wind gust zones. That's definitely going to keep the smoke blown out of the valley. It's going to turn our air quality eventually back to good. Now, the increasing wind speed, I'm sure, is somewhat of a concern to the folks fighting the Tunnel 5 fire out in Skamania County, but it will bring raising humidity levels, so the news is not all is not all bad. Okay. Let's talk about a cooling air mass. I mean, we're not going to get chilly, but we're going to cool off. Still looks like today, in fact, will end up being the hottest of the bunch. So this was today's map showing the hot air core. I've circled it in white. And again, the, the, from West Texas through New Mexico, Arizona, Nevada. I know Phoenix today was supposed to be, I think, 110 degrees. Medford uh, here in Oregon hit uh, 100 degrees. The Dallas was warmer at 101. Anyway, the hot air mass knifing up into Portland, if you will. Uh, we've been feeding off of the uh, kind of the north uh, western perimeter of that air mass. We've been getting the cool west winds later in the day that have helped save us somewhat. Now, check this out. These were the uh, projected temperatures for today from that model we just looked at. And that model was too cool. It said 95 in Portland. We know we hit 98, but it said 96 down in Salem and Albany. Now, if you go to Friday, look at the difference. Temperature's 10 degrees cooler. Instead of 95 in Portland, it's projecting 85 in Portland. It's still showing extreme heat of around 100 to 102 out in the Columbia Basin, that kind of whitest brick color. Again, I'm looking at Friday. And, and the verbiage I put was Friday cool off. That's speaking specifically to the west side of our state. So clearly you can see that white brick color today up and down in Lama Valley. Clearly you can see it's still warm, but it's not nearly as hot as we get into Friday. And basically that hot core of that air mass, and you can tell it here, is going to start shifting and pulling back to the east, which will bring in an increasing flow of west winds and it will knock us back down now we're still going to be in the 80s and if you don't have ac day after day after day after day after day getting up into the 80s is still pretty uncomfortable i get it uh, you know one of the big weather stories we covered this uh, a couple of years ago uh, when not only were we setting records for the number of 90 degree days each summer but also setting records for the number of 80 degree days this summer so you know quite Frankly, what's disappearing from our summers, I mean, this is a little over exaggerated, but for the most part, when you get into the latter part of June, July, and August, what's disappointing from our summers, or disappearing rather, are 70 degree temperature days. Days where the high is 74, days where the high is 77, days where the high is 78, 76. And if you don't have AC, those are the days you want in the summer. Well, they're disappearing. We're replacing almost all of those with 80 degree days, and then we're mixing in increasing 90 degree days. And that's just that's just a fact. That's very well documented. Uh, all right, National Weather Service. These are the National Weather Service forecast numbers for today through Tuesday. So tomorrow the Weather Service is going 92. I'm going 93, pretty close. And then we're in the 80s starting Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Now that uh, Friday's 86, Saturday 85. Notice Sunday they're going 89, near 90. I am too. But we may hold in the 90s in the next, or the 80s, pardon me, in the next week. Salem's the same, Eugene's the same. So one more day in the 90s tomorrow, then we're down into the 80s, although we're going to be perhaps well up into the 80s. And with that said, here's my seven-day forecast, my own work that I do. So today, 98. Tomorrow, how about 90 to 93? We'll notice the difference. It won't be as warm. Uh, but if the humidity is up a little bit, eh, it might not be as much cooler as you think. On Friday, confidence is off the charts high that we will be in the 80s. So that would end this heat wave. I call it a heat wave when we hit 90 or better for consecutive days. So we've done it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We'll do it tomorrow, I think Thursday, four days in a row, then that will be it. Friday, 86, Saturday, 85. Sunday could jump up to 90, but it looks like we should hold in the 80s on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. No moisture in sight. It's all a sunny forecast. And with that, I really thank you. Um, I always say it. I really mean it. Thank you for using my uh, my forecast products. My weather site is where you can find this seven-day. That's portlandweather.com. That's easy to find, easy to bookmark. Again, there's individual pages for coast weather and gorge weather and the, the Cascades and live camera networks. It's a very unique weather site. 
um, if you really are interested in what's the weather doing regionally, are you going to be traveling regionally? You want to check out the coast and the gorge and Mount Hood. Uh, it, it's a site that offers things no other site does that I am aware of anyway. Uh, and thanks for subscribing to this YouTube channel. With that, have a good night. We'll look forward to a bit of a cool off tomorrow, then a bigger cool off on Friday.